Hi there. There was snow falling out of the sky in Devon on my way to work, but not settling. I wasn't quite high enough. And it's been a similar story for some southern and eastern and northern parts of the UK during the last 24 hours. Falling snow and in some places settling snow, but in many other places actually largely dry. This shows the rain or snow radar from the last 24 hours. And as you can see on Wednesday, it was primarily northern and eastern Scotland, eastern parts of England, seeing the white stuff there for snow falling in the form of showers coming in from the North Sea, some accumulating snow in parts of eastern England, eastern Scotland, especially over hills. Northern Ireland also seeing some wintry showers, but really it's into the start of Thursday where we've seen a band of rain move up from the south, and that's been uh, mixing with the cold air to produce some falling snow, even at the coast in southern parts of England, but much of the snow really over 100 metres or so, and certainly any settling snow expected to be above about 100, 200 metres during the rest of Thursday, with it turning back to rain or sleet at lower levels and around coastal parts of southern England. But it will carry on. And for the moors of the southwest, especially Dartmoor, there'll be some significant accumulations, 5 to 10 centimetres in some parts. But for many other places, it's a case of showers continuing. Northern Ireland seeing a mix of rain, sleet and snow showers, especially towards the northeast. Northern and eastern Scotland, eastern parts of England also seeing a continued feed of sleet, snow showers coming in, with the snow continuing to build up over hills, but not generally settling uh, right down at sea level. Away from those areas affected by snow falling, it's largely dry and bright. Plenty of sunshine for Wales, the Midlands, East Anglia, Western Scotland as well, faring well for sunny spells, a crisp blue skies autumn day, and temperatures at 3 to 5 Celsius. It's going to be windy in the south, especially over Dartmoor and to the west of Dartmoor, so that could lead to some snow drifts through Thursday, but the snow does tend to drift to the south once again, the low pressure system clears away, and then we're left with this chilly northeasterly airflow, the blues across the whole of the UK indicating below average temperatures. So for the rest of Thursday, the rain, sleet and snow petering out in the far south of England, snow showers continuing to feed into eastern and northern coasts of the UK. A few more wintry showers to come for Northern Ireland as well. That will lead to some icy patches overnight. And certainly where we've seen some precipitation, we're going to see some patchy ice into the early hours of Friday. So some slippery surfaces around first thing Friday. But away from those areas, actually plenty of clear spells, leading to some freezing fog patches, especially for parts of northern England into East Wales, the Midlands, for example, and some low cloud drifting in as well. But also plenty of clear skies and as a result a widespread frost and temperatures in some parts well below freezing once again. So a cold start to Friday, a less snowy start in places, certainly it's drier for southern parts of England. We've got some of this patchy low cloud, and the freezing fog in places will continue into the afternoon. That's going to make it feel particularly cold with temperatures really struggling where we've got the freezing fog persisting. Fewer showers for some eastern coasts because it's not quite as breezy, but there will still be a few, for example, down towards East Anglia. And also there will be some showers coming into the west of Scotland and Northern Ireland. These will be a mixture of rain, sleet and snow with the snow primarily over higher parts. But away from any coastal showers, actually plenty of fine weather on Friday afternoon, plenty of sunshine, apart from those areas where the freezing fog persists and staying cold, although it's not going to be quite as breezy. Now into Friday evening, quite clearly, we've got widespread clear skies and as a result, a widespread frost forming once again. But for most, it's a dry night. We'll see some freezing fog patches form and a very cold start to the weekend. Changes then afoot later in the weekend as weather systems try and move in from the southwest, bringing some rain and bringing some mild air. But actually, in the north, it stays cold into the start of next week.